Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make Raven from the Teen Titans. Now, it should be noted that if you're going to attempt to build this pixel art on the Minecraft PE edition, in other words, if you're using your phone, your iPod, or your iPad, or anything that's handheld that's for Minecraft, then you will not be able to build this because you will encounter a height limit. Now, to fix this and to get around it, all you have to do is just build on the ground because this pixel art is going to be building upwards. But for all of you who are using the handheld Minecraft, then you're going to have to just build on the ground. So, if you're also playing on the Xbox version of Minecraft and the PlayStation version of Minecraft, but are not connected to Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network, there's a good chance that you do not have the updated version of Minecraft, and there's a chance that you will also reach a height limit, so make sure to build on the ground. If you're playing on the Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network and also the PC, then you're perfectly fine. So, let's get into this pixel art. I should also mention that I do have other pixel art tutorials of the Teen Titans that you should check out if you're a big Teen Titans fan. So the blocks that you're going to be needing for this pixel art are the black wool, the obsidian, the blue stained clay, the purple wool, the magenta wool, the gray wool, the cyan stained clay, the bl light blue stained clay, the white wool, the snow block, the spruce wood planks, the brown wool, the red wool, and the nether brick. Now, I do recommend placing these blocks in front of the pixel art that you're about to build. That way you do not forget which blocks that you need if you go off uh, into a different part of the world and build a house or another pixel art or just leave the world altogether. That way when you come back, you will know the exact blocks that you'll be needing. So now let's head over to the center block. Now the center block is just a black wool that you placed anywhere in your pixel art world and this is going to be the very center of it so you don't have to worry about where it's going to be placed in your world. This is going to pretty much measure it out. So put a black wool anywhere you want the pixel art to be centered and starting from the right side of it starting on top of this grass block you're going to count all the way up to the number 39. So you're not going to count the black wool, just the grass block on the right side. So this is one, two, three, four, etc. And you're going to count all the way up to the number 39. And when you reach the 39, you're going to break the grass block and put a placement block, which is the bookshelf. I'll explain later on in just a sec for those of you who are still new to these tutorials. So just go ahead and break the grass block, put a placement block, go ahead and pause the video just to catch up. So once you've done that, we're going to fly back to the center block. Now starting on the left side, so starting on top of this grass block, you're going to count this as 1, 2. You're going to count all the way up to the number 49. So the right side was 39, and now the left side, you're going to count all the way up to the number 49. So counting all the way up to the 49, you're going to break the grass block that is 49, and put a placement block there in its place in the ground. So go ahead and pause the video now to do that to catch up. So once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, starting on top of the left placement block that we counted all the way up to the number 49, so starting on top of it, you're going to be placing 10 black wools going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now you're going to place five blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now I use the placement block for many reasons, this being one of them. So we don't have to use the same block that we are using for black holes. In other words, this instance, I told you to place five blocks going up on the right instead of using the same black wool. So we don't get confused later on by not deleting it or accidentally deleting, say, the wrong block. With the placement block, we know exactly which block to delete. And believe me, there's more than uh, one purpose for this placement block, so I do recommend using it. So now that we've placed these five blocks here, after the ten blocks that we placed, you're going to be placing two sets of twos. Now, this is a term that I use, again, for the new people. This is just uh, a term that I use to shorten what I have to say. So this is going to be two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. Let's get rid of those. And it should look like this. That's two sets of twos. A set is essentially just a group. So I said two groups of two. So in each group, there's going to be two blocks 
and I said there was two groups. So this is the first group that has two blocks in it, so that's one, two. This is the second group that has two blocks in it, so that's one, two. So there's two sets of twos. Now you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of these. And place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. And now two blocks going diagonal up to the right. One and two. And place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now starting from the left block of the three blocks going across, starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two. And then place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And it should look like this so far. So now let's go back to the seven blocks going diagonal up to the right, and we're going to start from the top block. In other words, the last block that we placed of the seven blocks, so starting from that block, you're going to count two blocks down, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. So we're going to start from the second to last block of the seven blocks. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left side. That's, whoops, that's one, two, three, four. And now place 14 blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 blocks. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right. Two sets of fours. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. So that's two sets of fours. And remember, if the video is going too fast for you, make sure to hit that pause button. Now you're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the upper level to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And now two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. That's two sets of threes. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Whoops. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block, and with the placement block starting from the top block of these two blocks going up on the left, starting on the left side of the top block, so from there you're going to be placing one placement block, switch back over to the black wool, starting on top of the placement block, place ten blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go over and get rid of that. Now starting from the left block of the 10 blocks going across, starting on top of it, you're going to be placing one black wool, so place one there. Now from that one block, place two blocks going up on the left side. It's one, two. 
then one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now we're going to move back over here to the 10 blocks going across, this time starting from the right block of the 10. So from that block, you're going to be placing one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place 15 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 15. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's fly over. I place 5 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. I place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now you're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. Now, before you start placing blocks, if you're new, I use the term linked. I didn't say two blocks going across. I said two linked blocks going across. So what that means is you're going to start from the very last block that you just placed, and you're going to connect them, which is why I call them linked. So that's one and two. As you can see, we didn't need a placement block for that because they were linked. So this is two linked blocks going across. Now you don't need to concern yourself with the number because the numbers are always going to change. It's the terms that you have to understand. So this was two linked blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that was to the right, I should say. To the right. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to start from the right block. So from that block, you're going to be placing 12 blocks going down on the right side. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 blocks going down on the right. Let's go back down. And I'll place 4 blocks going down on the left side. So switching sides, 4 on the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. I place three blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three. And now one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. So that was four on the left, three on the left, one on the left. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of this black wall. Let's place one there. Switch over to the black wall, starting on the left side of the placement block. So starting from there, you're going to be placing 10 blocks going diagonal down to the right. Diagonal down to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's 10. We just needed 10. So that was 10 blocks going Diagonal down to the right. Let's get rid of those. So it should look like this. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And then place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now going back over here to the bottom block of these two blocks, this time we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. Now going back down here, what you're going to do next is place two sets of fours going down on the right side. Two sets of fours going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. That's two sets of fours. And now place three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, and three. And it should be making contact with the placement block that you put in the ground on the right side of the center block at the beginning of this tutorial. And if it 
making contact with it, then you're doing everything correctly so far. So now let's go back up here, back to where we had this one block going diagonal, down to the left from these two blocks here. So starting from that one block, you're going to be placing 16 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 blocks. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's 1, 2. And now seven blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Now switch over to the placement block. With the placement block on the top block of these two blocks going up on the left side of it, you're going to be playing one placement block. And switch back over to the black wool. Starting on top of the placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And now one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Get rid of those placement blocks. It should look like this so far. So let's go back to these two blocks going across here that are making contact with the three. Starting from the right block of these two blocks, so from that block, place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And it should be making contact with these ten blocks going diagonal, so it looks like that. So now let's move over here to the three blocks going across here that was on top of these two blocks. Starting from the left block of these three blocks, so from that block, place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now place seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. Now place six blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's head back up here to the top block of the six blocks that you just placed. So from that block, you're going to be placing 12 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fly over and get rid of that placement block so it should look like this. Now remember to always glance over at the right screen occasionally just to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. That's why I have the right screen, in other words, the second screen on this video. So you can go ahead and see it from two perspectives, one on the left up close and on the right, you can see it from a distance, the whole entire thing. So now let's move over here to the left block of the 12 blocks going across that we just placed. So from that block, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place a total. This is going to be a lot right here. You're going to be placing four sets of threes. Four sets of threes going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three. That's two sets. One, two, three. That's three sets. And then one, two, three. 
that's four sets. That's four sets of threes. And it should be making contact with these three blocks going across. So let's get rid of the placement blocks now. And let's head back over here to the right, back to where we had these six blocks going down. Now moving to the six blocks, we're going to start from the bottom block of it, so starting from there. You're going to count two blocks up, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. So we're starting from there on the left side of it. So starting from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now place 8 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now you're going to be placing 31 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. 31. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now, the 31, the last block should be making contact with these two blocks going up. So it should look like this. Now, I do recommend sometimes pausing the video and counting slowly so you are sure that you've placed the correct amount of numbers, or the correct number of uh, blocks, I should say. So, it should look like this. You can go ahead and pause the video now, if you need to, just to compare. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to fly back over once again to the six blocks going down again. So, going back over here to the six blocks, starting from the bottom block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. Now, three blocks going diagonal down to the right. One, two, three. Now, place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now, you're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's head back over here to the three blocks going diagonal. And we're going to start from the bottom block, the last block of the three blocks diagonal. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. So it looks like this. Now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left side. Three sets of twos. So that's one. 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's 1. Now two blocks going down on the left side. 1, 2. And then one block going diagonal down to the left. That's 1. And it should be making contact with the ground, so it should look like this. We can go ahead and get rid of our placement block, or not the placement block, I should say the center block. So let's get rid of this one black wall that's by itself. That's the center block that we had. We don't need that anymore. And now that we've gotten rid of that, we're going to fly back up here to the seven blocks going across. Starting from the right block of the seven, you're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. A linked. So that's one and two. That's a linked two blocks going across upper level to the right, so it should look like that. Now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And then two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Now we're going to head over to the seven blocks going across, and what I want you to do is something that's not hard at all. Find the middle block of the seven blocks. So there should be three spaces on the left and three spaces on the right. It should not be hard at all to find the middle block of the seven blocks going across. Starting underneath the middle block, so from there you're going to add two blocks going down. That's one, two. Now starting from the black wall that's on the left side, next to it, from here, underneath it you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, and three. 
Now place four blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three, four. And now three blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three. Now let's head back over here to the two blocks going down. That was from the center block of the seven blocks going across. So starting from the bottom block of these two blocks. So from there, place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. And now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And then three blocks going diagonal down to the right. One, two, and three. Get rid of those and fly back, and it should look exactly like this so far. Now let's head back over to the seven blocks going across, starting from the right block of the seven. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of those. Now you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. And it should be making contact with the ground. And if it is, you're doing everything correctly so far. So now that we have the bottom part, most of it done anyways, of raven outlined with black wool what we're going to do next is fly all the way up here to the top left corner and find this black wool find this one black wool that's making contact with these 14 blocks going up and these four blocks going across so starting from this one black wool you're going to be placing it's going to be a large number not that large you're going to be placing five sets of twos so place five sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right five sets of twos it's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. That's five sets of twos. Now let's get rid of those. And let's go back down. And now what you're going to do next is place five sets of threes. Five sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. That's five sets of threes. And now we're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the lower level to the right. Two sets of fours. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. Two. That's two sets of fours. Now place nine blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right. Two sets of fours upper level to the right. It's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now what you're going to do next is place eight sets of twos. That's right, eight sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, whoops, <laughs> one, two, five, one, two, what, what is that? I messed that up with a thing. So that's one, two, six, actually. That's one, two, seven, and one, two, eight. So that's eight sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. I messed myself up a little bit by using placement block three times in a row instead of the black one. So, it should look exactly like this. That's eight sets of twos. Now, let's get rid of those placement blocks. Now, again, for those of you who are brand new to the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorials, or at least the ones on mine, you can see why I use these terms like eight sets of twos. 
because it would be very annoying and confusing if I were to say something along the lines of two blocks going across, okay, now 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 two blocks going across. You can see how confusing and very annoying and repetitive that is to listen to, which is why I use these terms, eight sets of twos, summarizes this entire thing right here. So now that we have those there, we're going to continue outlining Raven by switching over to the Blackwell, and let's head over here to the left and find these seven Blackwells going across that are making contact with these two blocks going diagonal and these four blocks going across here. So find these seven Blackwells. We're going to start from the right block, and starting from the right block, you're going to count two blocks into the left, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now we're going to start on top of this black wall, so starting from there, you're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of those. And now you're going to be placing six sets of twos going up on the left side. Six sets of twos. So that's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6. That's six sets of twos going up on the left side. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now you're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left side. That's 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2. That's two sets of threes. And now you're going to be placing two sets of fours going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. And now place 19 blocks going up on the left side. 19. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 19 blocks. Now place two sets of fours going up on the right side. So we're switching sides. On the right, two sets of fours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Now place three sets of twos going up on the right side. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. And now you're going to be placing nine blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. Now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3. That's three sets of twos. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place ten blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we're going to be switching to the lower levels. You're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. 1, 2, 3. 
And now you're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Now place seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to be placing four sets of twos going down on the right side. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. And now you're going to place two sets of fours going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. That's two sets of fours. Now place five blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Now place six blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to place eight blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now place five blocks going down on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to place three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. Now starting from the middle block of the three blocks going down that we just placed, starting from the middle on the left side of it, so from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Now place two sets of twos going up on the left side. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. Now you're going to place two sets of threes going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. That's two sets of threes. So it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So now we're going to move back down over here to the three blocks going down on the right. And starting from the bottom block of it, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. One, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, one, one, two, two. And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. Now you're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. That's two sets of fours. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's uh, one. And let's get rid of that. Now starting from the right block of the four blocks going across, so starting from that block there, you're going to count two blocks in to the left, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Starting underneath this black wall, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. 
And it should look exactly like this. Now, starting from the left block of the two blocks that we just placed, so from that block, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. Three sets of twos. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. That's three sets of twos. Now place three sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now you're going to be placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to move back up here to the two blocks going across, starting from the left block. So from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Now, without getting rid of the placement blocks, we're also going to be putting three blocks going diagonal up to the left, starting on the left side of the placement block. And if you're not using the placement block, then you know what to do now. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. We had three blocks going diagonal up to the left, and starting on the left side of that placement block, we had three blocks going uh, diagonal up to the left again. Now, again, I did mention before earlier that the placement block has many uses, more than just one or two that you guys believe, so you should be using it. So now, you, because I do integrate it with my instructions, so don't think you could just get around it by just using the same type of block, because eventually, when it comes to the complicating tutorials, this isn't complicated at all. This is a very easy and simple tutorial to follow, but the ones that are extremely detailed, those are, can be very confusing, especially if they have linked blocks and whatnot. So, yeah, this is this is should be easy for all of you. This is a very simple tutorial that does not have extreme details like my other tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. So, enough of that. Starting on the left side of the six blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I'll place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. So let's fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. We had the five blocks going across to the left four blocks going across to the left, and then the three sets of twos going across to the left. Now you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now you're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left side. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And it should be making contact with the top block of the left block of the five, 15. It was 15 black holes going across. So it should look like this. Let's get rid of that placement block. Now, starting from the top block of the five blocks going down here, starting from the top block, you're going to count two blocks down. So this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now, starting from there on the left side of it, so from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. Now you're going to place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. 
And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three. And place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. And now three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, three. So it should look exactly like this so far. Now what we're going to do from here, we're going to move over here to the left, and I want you to find these five black wools going across. It's not too far at all from where we just left off with those three blocks going across. All we did was just move down here to the left. So find these five black wools going across, and we're going to start from the left block of the five. And starting from there, you're going to count two blocks into the right. So this is one. And this is two. Now starting from there, on top of this black wall, so from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now, you're going to place a linked two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now starting on top of the left block of these linked two blocks, so starting from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those. So it should look like this. And now we're going to move over here to the right and find these three blocks going across that are making contact with these two blocks going across here on the right. And on the left, there's three blocks going across. So let's move to these three blocks going across. And we're going to start on top of the middle block of it. So starting from there. You're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of those. And it should look like this. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. And then one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. And everything should look exactly like this so far. So go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now that we have all of that, we're going to move over here back to the left side. And I want you to find these two black wolves going across. They're going uh, on the upper level to the left. They're making contact with these three black wolves going across. And these two black wolves going across. That also came after that, fi these five black wolves going down. So find these two... Uh, black holes and put placement blocks there so you can see where we are. You can also glance over to the right screen. Those placement blocks should be visible on the right screen as I place them here. Again, that's why I have the right screen so you can see exactly where we're going to be. So starting from those two black holes going across, starting from the right block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now place nine blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks going diagonal. And now you're going to be placing six sets of twos going up on the right side. Six sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, and one, two, six. That's six sets of twos. And they should be, the very last block of the two blocks should be leveled with these three blocks here. They should be on the same level. So now we're going to be placing five blocks going up on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, five.
Now switching sides to the left, you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now place four blocks going up. It's not just going to be four, scratch that. We're going to uh, put them in sets. We're going to be placing three sets of fours. So there's three groups and four blocks in each group. Three sets of fours going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. So that's three sets of fours. Get rid of the placement blocks. Now you're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Two sets of threes. Now starting from the middle block of these three blocks going up, so starting from the middle block on the left side of it, so from there, you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of those. And I'll place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. And place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three. Now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. And it should look exactly like this so far. Now you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, and two. Now you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place a linked Three blocks going across on the upper level to the left, a link. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like that. Now we're going to move back over here to the right, going all the way back to these three blocks going up. That from the middle block, we had placed these six blocks going diagonal up to the left. So going back here to these three blocks going up, starting from the top block. You're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. And now four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. 
Now place five blocks going diagonal down to the left. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get rid of the placement blocks and fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now let's head back over here to the left, going back to these three blocks going across, starting from the left block of the three, you're going to be placing three sets of threes going across on the upper level to the left. Three sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes. Let's get rid of those. And let's head back to the linked three blocks that we had here. So going back here to the linked three blocks, not, not to get confused with these three sets of threes, but just the linked three. Starting from the middle block on top of it, you're going to be placing one black wool there. And then place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And then one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. And place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now what you're going to do is place one black wall underneath the right block of these two blocks. So place one block underneath the right block. So place one there. Now let's go back again to these two blocks, starting from the left block. So from that, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So three blocks diagonal. That's one, two, and three. So it should look like this. Now place two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. Now place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. One, and two. Now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left side. One, two, one. One, two, two. And one, two, three. Now place two sets of threes going down on the left side. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. That's two sets of threes. Now you're going to be placing 20 blocks going down on the left side. 20 blocks going down the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 blocks going down on the left side. So let's fly up and get rid of that. And let's fly back down. Now what you're going to do, starting from the bottom block of the 20 blocks going down, you're going to count five blocks going up. So just to make this easier, instead of just counting five blocks, switch to the placement block, because I know some of you do miscount at times. I know, we're human, we're not all perfect. So just to make sure you do this correctly. With the placement blocks going to the bottom block, the 20 blocks, starting from the bottom block on the left side. So from there, with the placement block, place four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four that's four placement blocks switch over to the black wool place one black wool on top of a placement block so that's one let's get rid of these four placement blocks now starting from this one black wool you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the left side that's one two three four five six now let's head back down now starting from the bottom block of the 20 blocks again so starting from there you're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And place one block going diagonal down to the right. 
That's one. And now two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right side. Up on the right. That's one and two. Now, starting from the bottom block of the two blocks going up on the right, so starting from that block, you're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal down to the left. Or not to the left, to the right. Six blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get rid of those. And remember these two black walls because we're going to return to them. So, let's go back down here. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And then one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And it should be connecting with these three black walls going across. So it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now, before we go up there, what I want to do next is switch over to the placement block. Now, you see where it connected with these three black walls going across? We're going to continue moving down here to these three blocks going across, not to be confused with the ones that we just connected to. These are the ones that we connected to with that one black wool, but we're going to move further down to the right until we come across these three black wools going across. They're the very bottom outline of Raven's chin. So this is the very bottom. You can go ahead and look at the right screen as well. You can see where I'm placing the placement blocks. That's where you should be. Now we're going to move up to the right one level, so moving up to the right to these two black walls going across. So this is where you should be, at these two black walls. Starting on top of the left block, so starting from there. With the placement block, you're going to be placing nine placement blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine placement blocks. Now you're going to switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool starting on top of the placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left with gray wool. That's one, two, three. Now let's get rid of the placement blocks. And we will return later on to those gray wools. So let's switch back over to the black wool and continue outlining Raven. Now, we're going to move back up here to the left, going back to the two black wolves going up that I told you not to forget. They're the ones that are making contact with these six black wolves going diagonal down to the right. So moving back to these two black wolves going up on the right, starting from the top block, you're going to be placing one block going diagonal up to the left. To the left. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Now place four blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to be placing 19 blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 19 blocks going up. So it should look like this. Let's go down and get rid of that, and let's go back up. Now you're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left, or not on the left, on the right, on the right sides. We're switching sides. On the right, two sets of threes. 
One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And now you're going to be placing four sets of twos going up on the right side. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. That's four sets of twos. And now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. And now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And it should be making contact with these three black wools going across. So now we're going to fill in this empty space here with the black wool. Just fill in this single empty space with the black wool. So do that now. Let's fill this in. And then we're going to move down here to the right and fill in this single empty space here with the black wall. So fill that in. So it looks like this. Now we're quickly going to switch over to the magenta wool. And let's go up here and find this one black wool. It shouldn't be too hard to find at all. It's close to up here. Just find this one black wool. And starting on the right side of it, you're going to be placing nine magenta wools going across to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just so we don't get confused later on. So that's nine blocks. Now let's go ahead and put that away for now. So what we're going to do next is fly all the way back down here. Let's see. Before we start that, let's actually fly back up here. With the black wool, we're going to find the very kind of bottom point of uh, Raven's hair outline, which is this one black wool. It's not too far from the magenta wool that we just placed. So find this black wool. That's part of the two black wools going diagonal down to the left. So starting underneath this black wool, with the placement block, you're going to be placing five blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now switch over to the black wall, starting underneath the placement blocks, place two blocks going down. That's one, two. Now let's get rid of these. Let's go back. And now you're going to place four blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three, four. And now two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place two blocks going... It's not going to be two, but just two sets of two. So there's two of them. Two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one. And one, two, two. And then two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. And then place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Now let's switch over to the nether brick. Now with the nether brick, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the nether brick. So do that now. Let's fill this in. And it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the black wall. And uh, let's see. We're going to move all the way back down here. If you remember, we placed these 13... Or not 13. No, what am I saying? Three. We're, we placed these three gray wolves going across. And starting on top of the right block of the three gray wolves going across. So starting from there with the placement block, you're going to be placing three of them going up. So that's one, two, and three. Now switch over to the black wool and place one black wool on top of this. So place that. Now let's get rid of this. Now remember this one black wool. Now starting on the right side of the black wool, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And now let's go back over here to the same black wool. Now this time on the left side of this black wool, you're going to add five blocks going across to the 
to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it should look like this. So in total, if you count it up, it should add up to a total of eight blocks going across. And now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal down to the left on the left side. And then one block going diagonal down to the right on the right side. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And starting on top of the left block, you're going to count two blocks into the right, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Starting from there, you're going to be placing six blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. It should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block, starting... Let me put this away first, put another brick. Starting from the left block of the six gray walls going across, so starting from there, you're going to count three blocks into the right. This is one, two, and three. Starting from there, with the placement block, you're going to be placing four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. Now switch over to the black wall, or not the black wall, I should say the gray wall first. Switch over to the gray wall, place one gray wall on top of the placement blocks. And now let's get rid of these. Now we can switch over to the black wall. Starting on top of this one gray wall, you're going to add six blocks going up with black wall. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now switch over to the gray wall and place one gray wall on top of the black wall. So that's one. And now we're going to, from this one gray wall, you're going to place two blocks going down on the, on the right side. It's actually going to be two sets of two, so you can go ahead and add another two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, whoops, that's black wall. That's one, two. And then you're going to add two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. So it should look like this. Now, of course, you're going to fill in this empty space here with the gray wall. So it should look like that. So now that we have the mouth and the nose, very simple. We're going to move back up here to the center of Raven's forehead with, that we placed here with another brick. We're going to switch over to the bookshelf, or aka the placement block, that you guys should be calling it by now. All right, moving over here to the furthest of the two blocks going up here, starting underneath it, so from there, you're going to add six blocks going across to the right, six placement blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wall, starting from the right side of the placement block, place four blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now we can go ahead and get rid of these placement blocks, and let's head back to the four. Now you're going to be placing a linked 15 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. A linked. That's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15, and there should be this one space gap in between the 15 blocks going across and these four black walls going up. So now starting from the right block of the 15 blocks going across, starting on top of it, so starting from there, you're going to count two blocks in to the left. So this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Starting from there, you're just going to place one black wall there. And to save us some time in the future, let's quickly switch to the cyan stained clay. Now with the cyan stained clay, you're going to be placing one block on the left, or not the left, on the right side of this black wool. So place one there. So it should look like this. That's not gray wool, that's the cyan stained clay. So now we can go ahead and put away the cyan stained clay for later. And let's switch back over to the black wool. Now, starting from this one block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wall. So let's fill this in. So it looks like this. Now let's head back over again to this middle 
gem that's in the middle of her forehead. We're going to switch back to the placement block. Now, we're going to this time start on the left side of this gem, and starting underneath these four black walls, so starting from there, with the placement block, you're going to place six of them going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now switch over to the black wall, starting on the left side of the placement block, you're going to place seven blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's fly over, and let's get rid of these placement blocks, and let's fly back. And now you're going to be placing 11 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it should be making contact with these three blocks here that are going up. So let's fly over and get rid of that placement block. And let's fly back. Now, starting from the left block of the 11 blocks going across, starting on top of it, you're going to count three blocks into the right, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. Starting from there, you're just going to place one black wall, like so. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And it should look exactly like this. Now go ahead and fill in these two empty spaces here with the black wool. So do that now. So it looks like that. So now that we have that, we're going to switch over to the placement block. Now with the placement block, let's go back over here to these seven black walls going across that we placed. We're going to start underneath the left block. Now underneath the left block of these seven blocks, with the placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. Now switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wall starting underneath the placement block, you're going to be placing seven black walls going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's get rid of these placement blocks, and let's head back over here. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now you're going to quickly switch to the placement block and put a placement block underneath the right block of these two blocks going across. So place one there, and do not get rid of it until I tell you to. Switch over to the black wall, starting on the left side of the placement block, place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Starting underneath the placement block, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. And now starting on the right side of the placement block, you're going to place five blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now remember guys, I did tell you multiple times that the placement block has many purposes, so you better be using it. So now let's get rid of the placement block for now, and let's head down here to the three blocks going down. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, and two. I place seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now four blocks going up on the right side. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on top of these four black walls. So place one there. And do not get rid of it until I tell you to. Switch over to the black wall. On the right side of the placement block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. On the left side of the placement block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Starting on top of the placement block, you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. 
Now, let's move to these two black wolves going across to the right. Starting underneath the left block of these two black wolves going across. So starting from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now let's get rid of this placement block. And what we're going to do next is quickly switch over to the light gray wool. I fixed this uh, in post, in editing. But I forgot to mention and add, but I threw movie magic. In other words, I edited this in. Uh, I placed the light gray wool. I forgot to add this block to the lineup. So if you want to fix your lineup now, you can go ahead and do that now to pause the video if you want. Uh, but I forgot to mention and place the light gray wool. So for this pixel art, we can also switch over to the light gray wool now. And we're going to be placing four of them going across underneath these four black walls going across. So that's one, two, three, four with the light gray wool. Now let's switch over to the black wool and let's go back over here to these two black walls going across to the left. Starting from that block, the left block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Starting on top of the middle block of the three blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going up. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now you're going to be filling in this single empty space here with the black wall. So do that now. And once you've done that, you're going to move over here to this one single space that we had the placement block and fill this in with the black wall. And then let's move over here to the right and this empty space that we had with the placement block as well. You're going to fill this in with the black wall. So fill that in. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to... Let's see, we're going to switch over to the snow block. Now with the snow block... We're going to move to this one black wool here, that's part of Raven's Eye, starting on top of it, so starting from there, with the snow block, not the white wool, the snow, you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And then you're going to add another four blocks going across on top of these four snow blocks, so that's one, two, three, four. So it looks like this. It's a little hard to see because we're in the sky, but it should look like that. Now that we've got that, we're going to move back over here to the right, and I want you to find these two black wolves that we placed here. So the, not too far from there. Starting underneath these two black wolves, so from there, with the snow block, place two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And then add another two blocks going across underneath these two black, or not these two black, these two snow blocks. So that's one and two, so we get this square shape, so it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the purple wool, so switch over to the purple wool, and you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here, this space and this space with the purple wool, filling in Raven's Eye here, so let's fill this in with the purple wool. And it should look like this. Now it's not completely done, because we also have to add in some white, so let us put away the purple wool for now. And we can also put away the snow block for now as well. And we're going to switch over to the white wool. And we're also going to be needing something else later on, but we'll save that for later. Just moving blocks away. So switching over to the white wool, we're going to move over here to where we had the four light gray wolves going across underneath these black wolves, starting underneath the right block, so from there, you're going to place two white wolves going down. That's one, two. Then two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the black wall, and you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now place a linked seven blocks going across on the lower level to the left. 
a linked seven blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should look like this. Now place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now we're going to quickly switch over to the light blue stained clay. Now with the light blue stained clay starting on the left side of this black wall, so it's right there. Again, with the light blue stained clay, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. So it looks like that. And now two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. Now place ten blocks going up on the left side. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it should be making contact with this black wall. So let's move down and get rid of that placement block. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool, and underneath these two black walls, you're going to add two light gray walls, so that's one, two. And then once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the white wool, and we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the white wool. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's fill this in with the white wool, and over here on this side as well. It's just one single space staying within the outline. Outline, and it should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to switch over to the light blue stained clay once again, and move to this light blue stained clay from where we started the first block that we placed of it. From that block, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like that. Now place four blocks going down on the right side. So we're switching sides on the right, four blocks down. One, two, three, four. Now place three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Now place ten blocks going diagonal down to the right. Diag <laughs> ten blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look like this. So now let's go up, go back up to the 10 blocks going up on the left that we had with the light blue stained clay. And we're going to continue this path of the 10 blocks going up, and we're going to start on top of this black wall. You're going to be placing two sets of fours going up on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. So that's two sets of fours. And now what we're going to do is hug the outline. Now this is a new term, especially for those of you who are watching a tutorial of mine for the very first time. You're going to hug the outline of the black wool until you reach the left block of these three black walls going across. So find these three black walls going across and just put one light blue stained clay there. Go ahead, if you do not know where it is, make sure you're using the right screen so you can see where the light blue stained clay should be blinking on the right of your screen. We're just going to be placing one light blue stained clay there. And let's go back down. And we're going to hug the outline of it. Now what that means is if there is two black walls, you're going to be placing the same amount of blocks with the current block that we're using. So there's two black walls, you use two blue stained clays. Or light blue stained clays, I should say. Two black walls, two light blue stained clays. Two black walls, two light blue stained clays. And I'm only repeating this for the first time so you understand it. One black wall, one light blue stained clay. Two black walls, two light blue stained clays. 
So that is what is known as hugging the outline. I'm not going to repeat it anymore because it should be simple. Next time, if I need you to hug the outline, something like this, all I'm going to say is hug the outline, and you should be able to understand what I mean and place all of these blocks without me saying anything because we're going to be using that same term later on. Now let's move down here and let's fill in these two empty spaces in between the black wool and the light blue stained clay with the light blue stained clay. So let's fill those in. So it looks like this. Now let's move down here and what you're going to do with the light blue stained clay is find those four empty spaces here between the black wool and the light blue stained clay. Those four empty spaces there get filled in with the light blue stained clay along with this single large area here gets also filled in with the light blue stained clay. So do that now as I time lapse this part. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now for those of you who are still brand new to uh, my tutorials, I do time lapse through parts where you just need to fill them in because it's very pointless to see me fill in a single large area when all I can say is fill this in and all you can do is just pause the video while I time lapse through the entire thing. It'll save me time and it'll save uh, me some space so I don't have to upload an enormously long video. So now that we've got that part filled in, what we're going to do next is switch over to the blue stained clay. So let's put away the light blue stained clay that we were using and switch to the blue stained clay, which is a darker color. Now with the blue stained clay, let's move down here to this large area that we just finished filling in. As you can see to the left, there is this path of empty spaces. Don't get it confused with this because this is not a path. This is just an open space. As you can see to the left, there's this path of small empty spaces that are going all the way up to that empty space there. What you're going to do with the blue stained clay is just fill the, the empty path. So let's just fill in all of these empty spaces here that are going up alongside all right this okay so i'm not going to time lapse through this because it's just very small the only time i time lapse through parts is when it's just a single large area but that was easy that's all you had to do fill in those empty space path that goes up with the blue stained clay now remaining with the blue stained clay we're going to move down here and starting underneath this black wall, that's also next to this empty space that we just finished filling in. So starting from there, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to make this easier on ourselves, let's move all the way down. Follow this path so you don't get lost. Follow this path of black walls going all the way down. And you should arrive here. It's not too far from there. Arrive here, put one blue stained clay next to this one black wall on the left. So place one there. That's going to be our end point. We're not going to place anything right there or anything else. So that's where we're going to stop. Now let's go back up here. Now what you're going to do is hug the outline. What I taught you up there. You're going to hug the outline of the black wall going all the way down. So it should look like this. Again, I'm not going to say what it should look like. I've already instructed you it should not be hard at all to understand or comprehend what hugging the outline means by now so it should look exactly like this go ahead and pause the video now if you need to if you still don't understand so now let's move back down here going back to these three black wolves going across that started uh from this point also with these six black wolves going diagonal what we're going to do is start on top of this one black wall that's on top of these three black walls. So starting from there, what you're going to do is hug the outline of this black wall going all the way up until you stop on the right side of this black wall. So that's going to be our stopping point there. So let's go ahead and hug the outline starting on top of this black wall. So starting from there, we'll just hug the outline with the blue stained clay. So it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to again. If you it's too hard for you to understand. I believe it should not be at all. So now that we have that, we're going to fly back up here. We'll get to work on the second eye in just a sec. Let's just fill in some of these parts. Let's go back up here, and we're going to fill in all of these empty spaces here, including this kind of large space here that goes down, and these small empty spaces. So just fill in this path here, these spaces here, with the blue stained clay. 
So let's fill that in now. And let's go down here as well. We're also going to fill in these small spaces. And there we go. It should look like this. Now we're going to move move on to the eye. So we can go ahead and put away the blue stained clay. We can also uh, move on to the black wool again. But for this next part, we're going to need the placement blocks. So let's go ahead and switch over to the placement blocks now. And let's head back down to this eyebrow. It's going to be a very long way down. So moving back to the right eyebrow, starting from these four black wools going across, it should not be hard at all to find because they were part of these 15 blocks going across. So finding these four black wools going across, starting underneath the left block of the four blocks going across, what you're going to do is place six placement blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should look like this. That's six placement blocks. Now you're going to switch over to the black wool, starting underneath the placement blocks, place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now let's get rid of these. Now you're going to place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now do not get rid of this placement block. I should have actually told you to place that first. So now that we have that placement block there, on the right side you're going to be placing one black wall. And underneath it, you're going to add two blocks going down. That's one, two. And now from these two blocks that we just placed, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And then one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Now we can go ahead and get rid of this placement block and put a black wool in its place. So let's fill this in with black wool. Now let's go back over here to the four blocks going across on the upper level. Starting from the right block of the four, you're going to count two blocks in to the left. This being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now starting on top of this black wall, so from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Let's switch to the placement block and put a placement block underneath the left block of the two black walls. So underneath the left, place one there. Switch over to the black wall, starting on the left side of the placement block. And do not get rid of the placement block until I tell you to. Place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Now, on, starting on the right side of the placement block, place two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. Starting underneath the placement block, place four blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Now let's go back up here to these two blocks going across that we placed uh, to the left. Starting from that block, you're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two, three. Let's get rid of that. And now we can go ahead and get rid of this placement block and put a black wool in its place. So I'll fill this in with black wool. Let's go back down here to where we had the two blocks going diagonal down to the left. Starting from that block, you're going to be placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's get rid of that. Let's move back up here to where we had the three blocks going down on the left. Starting from that block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now you're going to be placing one black wool on top of the left block of these three. So place one there. And now one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 
That's one and two. Now you're going to be filling in this single empty space here, staying within the outline. You're going to be filling it in with the black wall. So fill this in. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the snow block. Now with the snow block, we're going to move over here to this kind of uh, two blocks going up space and there's this kind of dent in here to this black wall so just find this empty space right there with the snow block you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left that's one two three four and now you're going to start from the left side of this black wall and place two blocks going across to the left that's one and two so it looks like this let's head back over here and find these three black walls going down that we had Starting underneath it, you're going to be placing two snow blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And then add another two blocks going across underneath these two snow blocks going across. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. So now we're going to put away the snow block because we are completely done with it. And we're going to switch over to the purple wool. Now with the purple wool, we're going to fill in the remaining empty spaces here in the eye with the purple wool, so let's do that now. Let's fill this in. And there we go. And now let's put away the purple wool and let's switch over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to move over here to the left and place three blocks going across underneath these three black wools. So that's one, two, three with the light gray wool. And then we're going to move over here to the right, and underneath these two black walls, place two light gray walls, so that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the white wall, and with the white wall starting underneath the right block of these two light gray walls, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. And place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, and two. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool starting underneath the left block of the two white wools, you're going to be placing one black wool. And before we continue, let's fill in these three empty spaces here with the white wool. So let's just fill these in with white. And then let's switch back over to the black. Now, from the one black wall, you're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then place one block going diagonal down to, or not up to the, I should say, up to the left. That's one. Now let's head back over here to the seven blocks going across, starting underneath the right block. You're going to count two blocks into the left this being the first block that you count that's one and that's two starting from there you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left that's one two three four now let's switch back over to the white wool starting from that one black wool you're going to be placing two white wools going diagonal up to the left that's one and two and place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. And then one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now let's fill in this single empty space here with the white wall. So let's fill in this space. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the magenta wall. So let's switch over to the magenta wool. We can go ahead and put away the white wool because we are done with it. And we're going to put away also the light blue, or I should say the light gray wool, because we are also done with it. But for now, let's switch over to the magenta wool. And with the magenta wool, we're going to head up all the way up here, going up here to Raven's hair outline. And I want you to find these three black wools going diagonal. So that's one, two, three. Find those three there. Shouldn't be too hard to find at all. 
and we're going to start from the bottom block on the left side of it. So starting from there, you're going to be placing seven blocks going across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it should look exactly like this. Now starting underneath this black wall right there, place two blocks going down. One, two. So it looks like this. Now we're going to fly all the way back down to the tips of uh, Raven's hair. And I want you to, it's not too far at all, just following the black wall outline that we placed from uh, the magenta wall. Following this black wall outline going all the way down here to these two black walls going across. So from there, you can look at the second screen if you don't know where we are. Starting from there, you're just going to hug the outline going all the way up. And we already placed our deadline, or I, I should say uh, the stopping point there, our end point. So starting from here, we're just going to hug the outline with the magenta wool going all the way up. So let's do that now. And this, is, this saves me a bunch of time by just saying hugging the outline instead of instructing you one by one on placing this. Again, it shouldn't be too hard at all to understand by now what hugging the outline means. And let's do this. Oops, blocks are not cooperating right now. Oh. Alright. And I think this actually was like this. I just messed that up. Okay. So, it should look exactly like this so far. Just That was hugging the outline that saved us a bunch of time. Now that we have that, we're going to fly up here, and let's head over here to the nine magenta wools going across that we had. Starting from the right block of the nine magenta wools, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now, starting on top of the left block of the three blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now, two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now, two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. And now four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. Now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, one. One, two, two. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three. Now four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now place five blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, 
That's one, two, three, four, five. Now place three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. And then place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now we're going to move down here, and what you're going to do next is fill in the empty spaces in between the magenta wool. And fill in this single empty space here, because it's also in between the black wool. This empty space there, although you're going to... You can put a placement block if you want. Just put a placement block there just to make sure you do not fill that in. In fact, just to save us the trouble, we're going to switch to the purple wool right now and just fill that in already. Because that's going to be purple wool, so just fill in that space there with the purple wool. And let's just fill in this single empty space thing within the black wool outline and the magenta wool outline. This gets filled in with the purple wool. And... Those small spaces there in between just the magenta wool, only between the magenta wool, get filled in with magenta. So let's fill this in. That in, that in, and that. So it should look like this. You can also look at the second screen. Okay. Now we're going to move over here to the right and find these two black wools going across. Finding these two black wools, you're going to be placing one magenta wool on the right side. Make sure it's magenta and not purple. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now going back again to this one magenta, you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And then place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Get rid of that. And then fill in this single empty space here with the magenta. So it should look exactly like this. Now again, to save us some time and trouble, we're going to switch over to the blue stained clay, starting from this black wool on the left side of it. So from there... You're going to be hugging the outline going all the way up until you reach the 10 blocks going across. We're also going to be placing 10 blue stained clays going across underneath it. So let's go ahead and hug the outline. And the stopping point is underneath the 10 black walls going across. We're going to be placing 10 of those blue stained clays going across. So it should look exactly like this. Just hugging the outline with the blue stained clay. Now we're going to move all the way down here, following this path, this empty path here. We're going to move all the way down, following it, following it, until we reach these two empty spaces here. That are two black holes going diagonal from the middle block of these three blocks going down. Filling these two empty spaces here with the mm, blue stained clay. So fill those two in with the blue stain. Now starting on top of these two black holes, you're going to be placing three blue stained clays going up. So that's one, two, three. And now starting on top of these two black walls, you're going to be placing six blue stained clays going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now the rest, you're going to be not starting from there, but starting from there. The rest, you're going to be hugging the outline until you reach that magenta wall there. You're not going to actually make contact with it, but contact with the black wall that's next to it. So let's hug the outline with the blue stained clay. Going all the way up. And we're going to stop right there. So it should look like this. And now that we have that done, we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, let's move over here to the outline of Raven's chin. Also, it's below it, you can see its neck part, uh, this small neck area. We're going to fill in this small neck area with the gray wool. So let's fill this in with gray wool. If you still don't know where that is, make sure to be watching the second screen, which is on the right. We're going to fill in this single space, along with this small space here. I'll go to that in a second, just in case you missed it. All right, we're going to also fill in this one small empty space with the gray wool, so let's fill that in. So it looks like that. All right, so now what we're going to do next is switch over to the purple wool. Now, with the purple wool, it should not be hard at all to figure out which parts are Raven's here, but... Just for the sake of it, we're going to uh, fly up here to the right. So flying up here to the right, 
back where we had the hugging the outline of the blue stained clay, you can see that there's this one small empty space between the black wall and the blue stained clay. Fill in this empty space here with the purple wall. Just fill that in. Once you've done that, let's go down here on the left side of Raven's hair. You can see these tips, all of these small empty spaces here. Just these spaces here get filled in with the purple wall, so let's fill those in that are just small. And it should look exactly like this. Okay, from here on in, it should not be hard at all to distinguish which parts or which large empty spaces are Raven's hair, because there's only four large empty spaces that you're going to be filling in with purple wool from Raven's hair. So first, this is the large single empty space. As you can see, there is black wool outlines, but they do come back up here and loop back. So this is the very first large single empty space that you fill in with the purple wool staying within the outline. The second large is up here. As you can see, there is the magenta and the blue stained clay. You want to fill in this large area here with the purple wool. And then down here, this empty space here also gets filled in with the purple. So this is the third empty space. And then moving over here to the right, this is the fourth empty space that gets filled in with the purple wool. Just this empty space. You do not cross down there. So go ahead and fill in those four large empty spaces with the purple wool staying within the outline. So do that now. And when you are done filling it in, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the magenta wool, and we're going to fly down here to the very first spot, location, part, where we started at the beginning of this tutorial, where we had the 10 black wools going up here at the bottom left corner of the pixel art. Next to it, you're going to hug the outline of this black wool, going all the way up to these two black wools underneath it, I should say. So let's hug the outline with the magenta wool starting on the right side of it. So it looks like this. And now we're going to fly up here to the seven black wools going diagonal up to the right. And we're going to be placing a magenta wool right here where we had the four blocks going up on the left from this one black wool. So let's place a magenta wool there. And starting on the left, or I should say on, on the right side of these two black wools, we're just going to hug the outline of the remaining black wools going up to the right. So let's hug the outline with the magenta wool. So it looks like this. Now, starting on top of the black wool, so starting from there, we're going to hug the outline of these black wools going all the way up until we end underneath the black wool there, that one black wool there. So let's do that now. Let's hug the outline with the magenta wool. And it should look exactly like this. It shouldn't be too hard at all to follow. Now we're going to switch over to the blue stained clay. Now with the blue stained clay from this area, we're just going to move down and to the right and find this one black wool and these two black wools going across. Starting on the right side of this one black wool, with the blue stained clay, you're just going to be placing blue stained clays going straight up until it makes contact with that black wool up there. So let's just make a line of blue stained clay going straight up until it reaches that black wool. So it looks like this. Now that we have that, we're going to move to the, let's see, let's move to the purple wool. We can already fill this in. With this empty space here, this single empty space, what you're going to do with it is fill it in with the purple wool. So go ahead and switch over to the purple wool now, and we can go ahead and fill that in. Save me some time and trouble on t actually time-lapsing it, because editing videos when it comes to time-lapsing actually takes a lot longer than you think. You think it might be just a simple, boom, make it fast. Nope, it's a lot more than that. So let's just finish filling that in. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch over to the, let's see, where is you? You are there. Okay, we're going to switch over to the purple wool. Now with the purple wool, we're going to move back over here to the 31 black wools going across, starting underneath the left block of the 31. So starting from there. You're going to be placing, let's see, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Oh, actually, it's not three. It's not purple. I was confusing myself there. Ha! Huh. Questioning myself. Felix, why would you do that? All right, it's actually the blue stain clay. There we go. The blue stain clay that we need for this next part. I was just... It did make sense to me in my head. I was like, didn't I have to? All right, whatever. 
Underneath the left block of the 31, with the blue stained clay, you're going to be placing three blocks going across. So that's one, two, three. There we go. And now, going down on the right side, you're going to be placing 15 blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's 15 blocks. And now we're going to switch over to the purple wool and fill in this single empty space here with the purple wool. So let's do that now. Fill this in with the purple wool. We can also go upwards as well. Save me some time and trouble. It's a lot faster as well. And there we go. Now that we've filled in that, we're going to switch over to the... Quickly switch over to the, let's see, uh-oh, hmm. It appears that I keep failing at actually telling you what, no, did I fail? I f no, okay, I didn't. I thought I forgot that we needed the obsidian. Nope, I had it in my inventory. Now with the obsidian, for the first time, starting on top of the 15 blue stained clays going down, so starting from there, you're going to hug the outline of this black wool going all the way across, until you reach, I think, the end of the... Yes, it's the four black wools. So let's go ahead and hug the outline with the obsidian block. Going all the way across. And we should end underneath the four black wools going across. So that's one, two, three, four. Right there. So it should look like that. Now let's fly back over. And we're going to switch it up. We are completely done i believe when it comes to the magenta wool so we can go ahead and get rid of that and let us switch over to the blue stained clay now with the blue stained clay going to the let's see to make it easier let's find this the 15 blue stained clays that went up or i should say down but we're going to go up these 15 blue stained clays that went up we're going to align ourselves with it and go straight up on top of this black wool. Now starting from that black wool there, you're going to move one block over to the right. So from there, we're going to start from there. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to switch over to the obsidian block, and with the obsidian block, we're going to be placing one block on top of the right block of these three blocks going across, so place one block there. And now starting underneath these black walls, we're going to hug the outline, same thing we did here with the obsidian, we're just going to hug the outline going all the way across. So let's hug the outline with the obsidian. And it should stop right there, so it should look like this. Now that we've got that going, we're going to finish this part, this empty space here. And to do that, we're going to need the following blocks. Let me just put these blocks aside for now because we are not going to be needing them. We're going to be needing the spruce wood planks, the brown wool, the red wool, and the nether brick. We're going to start off with the brown wool for this part. Now with the brown wool, we're going to move to the upper part of this empty space here, this empty circle space, upper left part, and we're going to find this one black wool, and on the right side, you're going to be placing one brown wool there. Now let's move to the bottom right corner of the empty space here, and we're going to follow this one black wool going up, and you should see that there's these two black wools going up on the right. You're going to be placing one brown wool on top of these two black wools, so it should look like this. One up there on the left, one up there on the right. Now we're going to connect them by hugging the outline in between. So starting from there, that's our start point going all the way down, and that's our end point right there. We're not going to pass that. So let's hug the outline of the black wool with the brown wool. 
So we don't have to, or I don't have to really waste my time on extracting you one by one. And it should look exactly like this. So now we're going to switch over to the nether brick for this next part. Switching over to the nether brick, we're going to fly up here and find these two black wolves going across that are making contact with the seven black wolves here. Starting from the left block of the two black wolves going across, so starting from that block, you're going to be placing five nether bricks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. A linked. That's one and two. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now five blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right so two blocks going diagonal up to the right so that's one and two now you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the right side that's one two three four five six and then place two blocks going diagonal up to the left that's one and two so now let's get rid of all the placement blocks, and I'll fly back a bit, so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Make sure to pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. We're going to switch over to the red wall now with the red wall starting underneath the linked two blocks going across here with the nether brick. Starting underneath the right block, you're going to be placing two red walls going down. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And then four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to fill in this empty space here with the red wool. So let's do that now. Let's fill this in with red. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the nether brick and then fill in this single empty space here with the nether brick. So let's fill this part in. And once we filled in this empty space with the nether brick, we're going to switch over to the spruce wood planks. And now with the spruce wood planks, we're going to fill in the remaining empty space here, which just goes around here, around the nether brick. We're going to fill that in with the spruce wood planks, so let's just fill this in. And this is, uh, I believe, the amulet of Raven? I'm not sure. I don't watch a lot of Teen Titans. I used to in the past. I don't think I ever watched the final episodes of that one Cartoon Network. I, not, I'm not even sure if that Teen Titans Go little, like, big head baby bodies version of it is still on Cartoon Network. I'm not sure. I don't watch television. Not anymore. So, when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to... Let's see, we're actually completely finished with the these blocks. So we can put the blocks that we were just using, all four of these blocks away, because we're done with them. And let's switch back to the blocks that we were using previously. Now we're going to start off with the... Let's see, I was going to call it blue sinkly. We're going to start off with the obsidian. The obsidian. Let's move down here to the seven black wolves going across. Shouldn't be too hard to locate it. Find these seven black wolves, and let's move to the left side of the seven, and you should see that there's like two empty spaces here. Well, not really empty, but two black wolves going across that are open. So let's place two obsidian blocks there. And now let's move up here, and you're going to be placing, starting from the right block of these two, three blocks going across to the left. So that's one. Two, three. So it should look like this. 
Now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now three sets of twos going down on the left side. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And then two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. Now we're going to fill in those empty spaces in between the black wool and the obsidian. We're going to fill them in with the obsidian blocks, so do that now. So they look like that. Let's move over here. This time to underneath the right side of the seven black wools going across. Starting underneath the left block of these four, or I should say these three empty spaces that are available underneath it. You're just going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. Then you're going to place six blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And it should be making contact with the ground. Now you're going to be filling in these small empty spaces in between the black wool and the obsidian with the obsidian block. So do that now. Let's fill those in. So it should look like that. Now we're going to move all the way to the bottom right corner of Raven's kind of cl clothes here. Cloth. What is it called? Cape? I have no idea. Don't really care. Starting on the left side of the black wall here, all the way at the bottom right corner, starting from there. You're going to be placing two blocks going up with the obsidian. That's one, two. Then place two sets of fours going up on the right, or the left side, I should say. Going up on the left. Two sets of fours. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. That's two sets of fours. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Now place 18 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And you can see that there's like it goes one obsidian more over to the left, and then these sixteen black wool, so it should be like this. Let's get rid of that placement block and let's fly back over. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And then three blocks going diagonal down to the left. One, two, three. Now let's go ahead and fill in those empty spaces that we left in between the black wool and the obsidian. Let's fill them in with the obsidian block. So even this part here. Let's fill them in with the obsidian. So it should look like this. There's only a few more steps left until we are completely done with the tutorial. Just hang in there. Now we're going to move up here, back to this amulet, going back to this T-shape that's towards the top right corner of this amulet-looking thing. And let's find this T-shape. We're going to start underneath the right block of these three black holes going across that are part of the T-shape. So starting from there, what you're going to do is place three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. Three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Should be like that. Okay. So it should look like that. That's three sets of twos. And I'll place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now we're going to be placing blocks that just go diagonal all the way down to the right. And you're going to be placing ten of them. Ten blocks going diagonal down to the right. It's actually going to be 11. That's not 10. 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 on top of this black wall. 
So let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now let's fill in all the empty spaces here, the small empty spaces in between the black hole and the obsidian with the obsidian blocks. So let's do that now. Let's fill them all in. So it should look like this. Now let's find these two black walls going across that are directly underneath these three black walls going diagonal up to the right. Starting on top, I should say, starting on top of the left block of the two black walls. So starting from there, you're going to be placing three obsidian blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Now let's move down here, starting on top of this black wall. Shouldn't be too hard to find. It's right there from the three. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going up with obsidian. So that's one, two. Now three blocks going up on the right side. One, two, three. Now place four blocks going up on the right side. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to be placing 11 blocks going up on the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now let's go back and fill in those small empty spaces with the obsidian block. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to move down here and find this area directly underneath the amulet. This area that's only outlined by the black wool, what you're going to be doing is just filling in this single empty space here with the black wool. Again, it's the empty space that's directly below the amulet. So let's just fill in this single empty space thing within the black wool outline here. So it looks like that. Now that we've got that done and out of the way, what we're going to do next is switch over to the placement blocks now with the placement blocks what you're going to do is move up here to the right back to where we finished it off with the obsidian going 11 blocks up on the right with the obsidian directly above it you should see these three empty spaces here fill in these three empty spaces here in raven's hair with the placement blocks so just fill those in do not get rid of those until i tell you to so just leave those there now we're going to switch over to the purple wool. Now with the purple wool, we're going to fly all the way over here to the left side. And we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the purple wool. So let's do that now. Just fill in this single empty space that's in between the magenta wool and the blue stained clay. And I guess you can also say the black wool because the black wool's up here at the top left corner. So let's just fill this in. Purple wool, purple wool, purple wool. I believe this is actually the last empty space here that we have to use purple wool for so yeah this is okay we are completely done with the purple wool so we can go ahead and put the purple wool away because we don't need it anymore so now that we've got that done and out of the way what we're going to do next is going to be a time lapse now i need you to pay close attention for this next part because it's going to be crucial the blocks that we're going to be needing for this part, we are also done with the obsidian, so let's put the obsidian away so we don't get confused. The blocks that you're going to be needing for this next part is the blue stained clay and the black wool. Now, starting off with the blue stained clay, there are, keep in mind, there are only six. You're only going to, let's see, six, seven. Yes, there's going to be seven. There's going to be seven empty spaces that you fill in with the blue stained clay. Starting off down here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are the seven. Starting from up here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the seven empty spaces you're going to be filling in with the blue stained clay. Then, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool. Now, with the black wool, you're going to be filling in this single large area here, staying only within the black wool outline. You're going to be filling this in with the black wool. And then once you've done that, you're going to move up here to where we had the bookshelves, aka the placement blocks. You're going to be filling in this single large area here, staying within the black wool outline. You're going to fill this in with the black wool. That's why I had you put the bookshelves, just in case you accidentally filled it in. I still recommend you having it there. And then once you're done filling this in, then you can get rid of those. 
So again, to recap, down here, starting from this large area, this large single area here, and everything below it gets filled in with the blue stained clay. And this large area here that's making contact with her hair gets filled in with the black wool, along with this large part of her hair also gets filled in with black wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to put away the blue stained clay and the black wool because we are completely done with it. The only blocks that we're going to be using from now on is the gray wool and the light, not the light, but the cyan, the cyan stained clay. So these are the last two blocks for the tutorial. We're almost there. So starting off with the gray wool, we're going to move over here to the two black wools going across that... We also place the five black wools going down on the left from. They shouldn't be too hard at all to find. They're right in between this uh, this large area and this large area that we filled in with the black wool. So find these two black wools going across. And with the gray wool starting on top of the left block, you're going to be placing one. Or starting on top of the right block, you're going to be placing one gray wool. So it should look like that. Now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And then 10 blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's get rid of all of these placement blocks. And now you're going to be placing five sets of twos going up on the right side five sets of two so that's one two one one two two one two three one two four one two five that's five sets of twos now place 11 blocks going up on the right side that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and now place three sets of fours going up on the left side. Three sets of fours. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. That's three sets of fours. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now you're going to place three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now place seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Then place six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two. And place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now what we're going to do is fly over to the empty spaces that we left in between the black wool and the gray wool. We're going to fill in those empty spaces with the gray wool. So go ahead and do that now. Let's fill that in. This is the second to last final step of this tutorial. So let's go in. And this is going to be one of the first returning full pixel art tutorials. I'm sure all of you already got that just by seeing the length of the video when you first clicked on it. So there we go. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay. And for the cyan stained clay, this is gonna be the very final instruction for the final step for this tutorial. And you're going to fill in the remaining large empty space of Raven's face 
with the cyan stain clay and make sure to stay tuned after the time lapse for a special message. So let's go ahead and fill this area in with the cyan stain clay. And when you are done filling it in, it should look like this. Now there is one spot I did forget to add black wool. Now we're going to definitely know and find out which are the people that stopped watching the video after the time lapse and which are the people that actually stayed after the time lapse because we will know just by this area here. You can see that there's the seven black wools going across and over here we have seven black wools going across but underneath that seven black wool we have four black wools going across. So for the people that skipped out on the time lapse of all right, I know what to do. Let me fill it in and just close the video. We know that they didn't watch it because there's this one spot missing. So what you're going to do with the black wool is find these seven black wools going across here underneath this eye, the left eye. Starting from the right block, you're going to count two blocks into the left. So that's one, two. And we're going to break that because we're going to need room. We're going to break four of them going across and fill them in with four black wools going across. So that's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. So that's how it's supposed to look like. Now, uh, there you go. There you have it. A Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial on how to make Raven from the Teen Titans. Now, if you did manage to complete this and make it look exactly like this, make sure to tweet me at it or tag me in your Instagram or Facebook posts so I can go ahead and see it, like it, favorite, and share it because I love seeing it. all those people that have managed to complete this pixel art and all the other pixel arts that I've done as well. Now, if you want to request a pixel art tutorial in the future of your favorite, let's say, anime character, cartoon character, vi favorite video game character, favorite celebrity, whoever you would like to see turned into a Minecraft pixel art tutorial in the future, always make sure to check out the latest Pawu videos that I upload on my channel. Please do not leave any Minecraft pixel art request in the pixel art tutorials or pixel art time-lapse videos, or pixel art showcase videos. I do not take them in those videos. The only place I take pixel art requests are in the latest Pawu videos. So make sure to check out the Pawu videos and leave your request down below in the comment section of those videos. Not these videos, but the Pawu videos. And of course, make sure to follow me on the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, whichever one you want, so you can share your picture of the pixel art that you finally managed to complete. Now, with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.